నమస్కారం వేదిక అస్ట్రాలజీ ఈజ్ అ వెరీ యునిక్ సైన్స్ వెన్ వీ యాక్చువల్లీ లుక్ అట్ ది హార్స్కోప్ అండ్ ఇంటర్ప్రెట్ దెర్ ఆర్ వేరియస్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ దట్ వీ టేక్ ఇన్ టు కన్సిడరేషన్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వీ లుక్ అట్ ద పంచాంగ వార తిథి నక్షత్ర కారణ అండ్ యోగ we look at the zodiac signs there are 12 zodiac signs we look at the grahas we look at nakshatras we look at a whole lot of things in this video i will introduce you to one set of important geometrical bodies these are grahas or loosely translated in english means planets what are grahas i don't have an equivalent word in english so i will be using the word planets but the word graha means graheti iti graha or that which has the power of graheti grasp it so evenly any heavenly body which has the power of grasping is known as a graha now there are nine grahas that are very important in vedic astrology or primary grahas and they are as follows the easiest way to remember this is with the childhood shloka that you and me we all have learnt it is namas suryaya chandraya mangalaya budaya cha guru shukra shanebhyascha rahave ketuve namaha so essentially we have nine planets we have the sun moon mercury venus mars jupiter saturn rahu and ketu we have nine planets now what role do these planets play in a horoscope if you look at some of my videos i have used the word ingredients when i refer to planets or grahas now sage parashara in his magnum opus brahmat parashara hora shastra has said this jeevana karma faladam graha roopi janardana which roughly translates to jeevana jeevana means in the all living beings grahas come as karma faladam means they come here to give the fruits of one's actions and why do they come it is actually janardana who is coming in that form now very interesting word play you will notice that parashara uses the word janardana who is janardana janardana is lord vishnu the one who is the who is the sustainer of the world but why does he use the word janardana instead of the word vishnu janardana means the one who punishes based on either good or evil deeds so planets are essentially manifestation of janardana to reward us or punish us on the deeds that we do how is that happening now as i told you earlier there are nine important grahas or planets that we look at in vedic astrology now each of these grahas they have a unique portfolio they have a unique uh, allotment that they have to take care of in this video i would like to share this let's begin with surya the role of surya is surya shauryam shauryam means bravery heroism might prowess so surya actually bestows shauryam so in each one of us the planetary portfolio that he rules is bravery 
heroism, might and prowess. Next is Indu. Indu means Chandra. Indu Ucha Padavim. Ucha Padavim. Padavim means position. Ucha Padavim means high position, high rank, fame. All these things are given by Indu. Chandra. Sun Mangalam Mangalam. Mangala, that is planet Mars, gives Sun Mangalam. That essentially Sun Mangalam can be interpreted as auspiciousness or the ability to undertake good deeds, the ability to undertake righteous deeds. So the role of Kuja or Mars is the ability to undertake auspicious deeds. Sat Buddhi Cha Buddha. So when we look at Buddha, Sat Buddhi. So he gives us Sat Buddhi. That means right perception. The ability to think in clarity and the ability to get the right perception. Gurushcha Kurutam. That means Kurutam. When we say good food leading to good health is known as is the role of Guru. So Guru essentially gives us the right things that we have to consume to ensure that the body is in good health. Shukraha Sukham The portfolio allotted to Shukra that is Venus is Sukham. Sukham can be interpreted as happiness, can be interpreted as convenience, can be interpreted as delight. So all these things, convenience, happiness, delight is by Shukra. Then we have Sham Shani. Shani, what is its role? We usually think that the role of Shani is negative, evil. No. The role of Shani is Sham. Sham means all round happiness. So Shani is in charge of happiness. Rahur ba Bahubalam means Balam is strength. Bahubalam is extreme strength, authority, power. All these things is given by Rahu. So Rahu's portfolio includes giving a person extreme health, extreme strength, authority and power. Ketuhu Kulasya Unnatim Kulasya, lineage, Unnatim Progress, good progress. So Ketu's role is to ensure that the lineage continues and flowers and blossoms. So it progresses. So this is the role of planets. So let me repeat it. Surya Hashauryam Induhu Ucha Padavim San Mangalam Mangalam Sad Buddhi Hicha Buddha Gurushcha Kurutam Shukraha Sukham Sham Shanim Rahur Bahu Balam Ketur Kulasya Unnati. Now, this actually throws us a lot of questions. How is it possible? There are planets that we have learned which are good, which are bad. For example, Shani, which is considered to be an evil planet. It is the most dreaded and the most fearful planet. Why, is, why have we said that it actually governs auspiciousness? Now these are certain things that I am definitely sure will be something that is worth considering. I will cover each one of these in my subsequent videos but for now I would like you to observe whatever I have just said planets are ingredients in the horoscope a combination of planets in different houses in different zodiac signs in different nakshatras essentially define the character the outcome and the possibility of any astrological event. I hope this gave you some clarity in terms of how planets work. 
In my subsequent videos, I'll try to cover one or two important planets and illustrate how to go much more deep and in much more detail. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you would like me to speak on specific topics, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be happy to take a look at it. Namaste.